everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will be discussing about the extra step during checkout process in Odoo 17 website module. Odoo website allows you to add extra step during the checkout process to collect additional information from the customer. This can be useful for gathering details that are unnecessarily covered by standard shipping and billing addresses. So let's move on to the website module to manage with extra step during checkout process. First, we just need to enable that feature from the configuration settings. So as you just move on to the configuration settings, here you would be able to find the extra step during checkout process. You can add a customizable form during checkout after the address. So here you can just configure the form. So as you just click on the form, uh, here you can see that we can just uh, configure that. So this would allow you to customize the form. So that would let you to add different fields such as a text field or this gives you the feedback and you can just upload a document and all. Now here you can see the order summary and the um, yeah item is set to zero so that the price also is not visible over there. Now you can also customize this checkout page. Like you can add the extra step. Uh, you can just suggest accessories. Uh, then you can use the promo codes and accept the terms and condition at you can also show the uh, B2B field. And if you want to make any other changes, you can just drag the blocks uh, from here uh, to the extra information. So currently, we just do not need to set anything. Or if you want to just add uh, any picture and all, you can just uh, add that. So here you can see, you can just add the images over here. And later on, you can just make the changes over here. So let me save this. Afterwards, let's move on to the um, shop and here you can see that as we have just enabled the extra step during checkout, the extra informations will be added after the review order and shipping. Now let's move on to the side and move on to the home page and go to the shop. Now here we are just going to add a product into our cart, which is the office lab. So let me add the item into the cart and you can see that now the uh, product is just added into the cart. and. Uh, we know the extra step is only added during the checkout process. Now you can just click on checkout and here you can see we just need to add uh, the information. So as we just click on checkout, here the shipping address is already given and here you can just provide the reference. That can be the reference code or anything else. So let me add the reference code over here. Later on you can just uh, give the feedback like uh, had a great shopping experience. So you can provide the text or message over here. And if you want to just upload a file, you can also upload that. So let me upload a file over here. Let it be um, the barcode or uh, anything else that is related to the product. Okay. So let me add that. Later on, if you want to replace the file, you can replace that. And we just need to go with the checkout and here you can see the blog that we have just added over here and let's uh, uh, click on continue checkout so as we just click on continue checkout you can see that uh, we can just uh, agree the terms and condition because we have also enabled that field under the extra information and uh, we can just pay enough now you can see after uh, the payment you will get a successful message that your payment is done over here now, the given information can be also um, collected under uh, the um, quotations or the sales order, allowing you to access it from the backend of the sales app or from the profile or the account of the uh, user. So under the Michel admin, here you can see his account. And as we just move on to the accounts, here you can see the sales order. And the user can just go with the sales order, which is of the reference number over here. And as you just drag down here, you would be able to find the terms and conditions that is given. And uh, the um, feedback also can be found over here. Or uh, you can also just move on to the sales module. In the sales module here, as you just remove the filtration here, you would be able to find the order that is generated from the uh, website. And under the preview, you can see that uh, the same information. So either you can go uh, through the website uh, profile or you can just navigate into the, um, I mean, your uh, sales app and find the sales order or quotation and preview the information regarding your payment. And that also gives the extra information that is collected from the um, customer. 
So this is how we just manage with the extra stuff during checkout in Odoo's empty website module. So I hope this video clarifies your doubt on extra stuff during checkout process. So if you want Odoo customization or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybrosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.